Today I'm going to show you how to use stretcher bars. Stretcher bars come in many different sizes and you can interchange two different sizes. As you can see here, I have um, a short edge and I have a long edge because my canvas is not fully square. So you always just wanna measure your canvas to make sure that you get the right sized stretcher bars. So you can see, for instance, let's move all this out of the way. The long side here is exactly the length of the long side of the canvas Oops. and the short side here is exactly the length of the short side of the canvas as you can see these stretcher bars have been used many many times um, they are fully reusable you can use them as many times as you'd like so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is you want to find your two short sides and your two long sides putting stretcher bars together is like putting together a puzzle each end of a stretcher bar has a flat side and then it has this indented side you always want to attach the flat side to the indented side so here you can see here is a flat side here is an indented side and you want to just make that corner and again you always want to make sure that you have the short side and the long side next to each other again here you have the indent and the flat side. So you're going to put those two together and it should fit perfect like a puzzle and make a perfect square. And then here is the indented side and the indented side and here's the long side and the long side. If the stretcher bars are newer, they might be a little harder to put together and you can always use a hammer on the edges to get them you know perfectly fit but once they're a little worn in it's a lot simpler so here we have our stretcher bar the next part is to attach the canvas to the stretcher bar there's two ways to attach the canvas to the stretcher bar you can do it design side up or you can do it design side down it really depends how much space you have left around the design here. If you are doing it design side up, you have to remember that when you are stitching it, you're going to have to pull your thread out behind your needle. So you want to make sure that you have enough space. So if you only have about an inch of space between the design and the stretcher bar, I would recommend putting the design up and the stretcher bars on top like so. For today's demonstration, I'm going to put the canvas on top because that's typically how I do it. In order to attach all these pins, I have this tool. It's a magnet. You can buy this on Amazon or at a local needlepoint shop. And you would simply just attach the pins to the magnet. This helps you push the pins in. It's painless, it's easy, and you get it done quicker. So the first thing you do is you take your pin, you attach it, and you put it in the middle of the top of the canvas and you push it in to the stretcher bar. Next pin, you go in on the bottom You and you wanna make sure that you're pulling the tension tight. You want the canvas to be really tight on the stretcher bars, like so. And then again, you pull the tension on the left side, you put in a pin and then the same on the right side. The more that you use your pins, you'll see, you see how it gets a little bent like that. It's not a big deal. You just wanna make sure that you're going into the stretcher bar on the same angle so that you don't snap that pin. So now you have all four in, your canvas is pretty much in place. And now we just need to make sure that we're gonna continue pulling that tension. So once you have all four, then you start on the top again and you put one pin on the top to the left and one pin on the top to the right. Again, always making sure that you're pulling that tension. Then you go to the bottom, the left. If you look, from the side, you'll see it's very tight. There's not a lot of movement happening. And that is what it should look like from the back. 
once you are done stitching your entire canvas and you're ready to take it off the stretcher bars, I then use this tool, which has a little ridge there, and you simply stick it underneath the pins and you pull up and they come right out. 